Special step of opening today's um, meeting. Uh, I've got the, uh, the, the chains on. I'll ask you all to stand for a moment of silence and recognition of the passing of uh, Queen Elizabeth II, monarch of uh, Queen of New Zealand, and now monarch of the uh, British Commonwealth. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Um, Chair, I'm Carol Hanks. Should we say that I'm Steve the King? Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, welcome, uh, councillors and mayor and staff, to our last Community Environmental Services Committee meeting of this um, uh, term. I'll start off with apologies, please. So I have apologies from um, Grant Weston, Robin Nah, and Ned Tuckery. Any other apologies, please? Um, I just have a Oh. Uh, motion, thank you, John. Seconder, thank you, Sharon. All those in favour? Uh, against, carried. Thank you. The next one is members' interest. Now, I understand today because we are doing our grants, um, community grants, there could be a few. a few. Could we go person by person as to which you may have any um members' interests or conflicts with, please. I'll start with John over here. Um, I don't think I do. No direct um, interest. No, okay. Dave? Yes. <clears throat> um, there's an um, application for the regional house trust in the grant and um, I'm the trustee. So I will manage that. Right, so that's six, six point... 11. Yeah. Okay. Thanks, Dave. Um, Joe, do you have any members' interests? Um, I'm trustee of West Meat Shed. Uh, we've got an application passed by two reports. So um, I will not vote on that. I don't answer any questions. I'll give Thank you. So that's 6.16, and then you've got 7.6 and 8.4. Uh, 8.4. Mr. Mayor, any conflicts? Thank you. Phil? I have to declare the chair. Um, I haven't got the right pages. No, that's all right. I can go through it. Um, with the KCI revitalisation, it's a report that hasn't come in, so I do have... Um, I've got a conflict that I can report on that. And then um, I've got a strange one for the Kirimia Early Learning. Um, I'm not really involved, but I've got my name when we re resurrected it four years ago on a bank account here. But I'm not really involved. But as I say, it's a strange one. So, how, how would you I like to know. handle that here? Um, I'll say I've got an interest, a conflict, but I'll speak to it if I can, but I won't be able to ask. And yes, I've got um, three interests. Um, in the Charleston Westport Coastal Trail Trust, um, my husband, Gordon, is one of the applicants signing the um, grant applications, so I'll, I'll remove myself from that. Um, it's not financial interest, but it could be considered non financial, I guess. The Charleston Board, um, Hall Board, I'm not a member of that board, but I have been fundraising for this particular um, for this particular project. So not a direct conflict. I'm happy to answer interest but, um, questions if I could, but I, I think I'll remove myself from voting just because I have been part of fundraising group for that, but not directly on the board. And then the third one is the Westport Early Learning Centre and 
I have a financial interest, I guess, in that the quote for the computer has come from IT at work, of which I'm a director and shareholder, so I'll remove myself from the vote on that. And that's 6.1, 6.2, and 6.15. Yep, cool. Um, and for myself, I have no conflicts. Right. So we've written those ones down. Um, can I have. Hmm? I would say it's Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, and I will second that. All those in favour? Yes. Against? Oh. Okay, right, thank you. <laughs> so, confirmation of minutes of the meeting of the 13th of July. Uh, which is on page 10 of our agenda. I have a motion, please, that these be tabled. Can you move the Yeah. I'll second. second it, thank you. Are there any items in there that anybody would like to alter or comment on? Again, there was one, but... No idea that I guess I didn't know. But it was just the words weren't making a lot of sense. It was something I said, which isn't unusual. Thank you, Councillor Samson. So we'll let it go because that's normal. <laughs> so no needing no other alterations. All those in favour that they be true and correct. Against carried. Thank you. My computer's just okay. lost it. Okay. Now we have unconfirmed minutes of the 11th of May to redo. <laughs> So action point list, tab number four, page 18. We have items outstanding. Uh, the very first one, 002, uh, revisit of the um, Buller District Council um, Class 4 Gaming and Totalisator Agency Board. Uh, reports that will be going to the November meeting. Chrissy, would you like to talk to anything there? Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, so the uh, we've just changed it from October to November because that's the first CESC that will be held after the elections. Um, and that is in place, that's in what the work programme, so there should be no further delays on that. We then have item number 10, which is develop an alternative, op alternative operating plan for our senior housing. Um, the committee met just before, um, the working group met just before the CESC meeting today. There'll be an updated paper coming through to um, the September full council meeting, just as an update as to what's happening there. So that will be coming at the end of the month. Um, happy to take questions if there are any. Okay, then we'll put the following page as well. Um, Right. Um, These have been completed items anyway. Yep. So, they're so page 19 is all completed. Yep. I also have a motion that the uh, reports or this the action points be um, received for information. Thank you, um, Deputy Mayor. And a seconder. Thank you, Councillor Howard. All those in favour? Against? Carried. Thank you. <coughs> Item number five is our community grants funding applications, um, which is the first of two sets of applications for the year or for, the, for this financial year. Um, we're going to go through, we have 17 applications for 
um, for this lot of, it comes to about 86,000, I think it is, we've got 75,000. I'm gonna hand this over to Mira um, as we go through. It's quite extended. We've got a number of reports on these uh, and uh, it will be hopefully reasonably good for all of us. Yes. First question around the amount that's going to be distributed today. This might be deputy's question, but I don't know, but I presume 75 isn't on the table. It's more like three. Potentially half. Well, it could be. It could be. Could be. Could be. Could be. Yeah. More like half than half. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. This is yeah. the first of two rounds, yeah. but we do have over $80,000 being applied for. Right. Yeah. Right. So, so we need to go through and uh, work through what we would like to do. Councillor Rutherford. Thanks, Madam Chair. Look, I was going to ask the very same question. And, and if there's an intent not to distribute at all, I think it needs to be reflected somewhere in the minutes of this meeting. That that's um, because I see nothing here that, that would prevent us just allocating the entire amount if we, if we thought that the applications were um, valid. And um, so I'm on another subcommittee of council that has a policy of the, the dividing the money up over the, the year. And I find it very confusing when it's not a, an established um, recorded um, policy of, of this committee. Okay. So we do have a poll. Yes. Yeah, no, I just wanted to uh, add to what uh, Phil just said, but um, traditionally, and, and, oh, no, I won't even say that because I'll be oh, <laughs> seen of being here too long. Soon finish. But no, in the past, it's been the approach that um, because you take all applications on the merit, that we establish um, whether we're going to support or not support, and we and then we um, the degree to which we're going to support, and then we set the funding of the money. So we're kind of putting the cart a little bit before the horse here because it, it may have predetermination as to who's going to be successful. And I think that the answer is that you're quite right, but the process is first to evaluate the there is support, not support, there will support, and then go back to. Thank you, um, David. It is actually advertised as two funding rounds a year, um, but the full budget is 75000 So on each for its merit, we need to go through and um, work out what we would like to do on, on a case-by-case -case basis for this set of applications. Yeah, would you like to, between yourself and Chrissy? go through, we'll go line by line of the applications and then work out at the end where we are. Um, yeah. If you'd like to start, please. Yeah, so we start with essentially the applications in order and we will go through it. This is not new information, this will include it and then uh, essentially gets to this where we decide where the everyone indicates it's a yes, no, or, or maybe that then usually results into some form of indication of support or not, yes, no, maybe, and we add the amount and then we get to some, some indication that usually there's a little bit of fine tuning as well. Cool, so yeah, um, so yeah, the first indication is the Charles and West from Coastal Trail Trust. Mm -hmm. So we can, um, Yes, go through and we start with, um, and also that we indicate conflict of interest. So obviously we just go through it so if there's a conflict of interest, please. That's mine. Um, so yeah, we start with dates. Well, I have um, put it down as a moment. That's my view. Just that's what you are maybe. Yeah. It's not like no. This one, no. Oh, what did you say? Maybe. John, you're up next. John, you're John. next. Um, no, my name's not up there. So I'm not next. Boom. It's great time. Is now. Thank you. Um, 
Uh, I had, I don't know where the budget is. It keeps saying budget attached, but the, there's nothing in here where there's a budget. Am I correct? At the end, there is. Where? That's 2022. Oh, it needs to be on the um, worksheet. Oh, the worksheet. Yeah. Uh, but on the application, it says budget attached, but it is in, in the. Page 29. Page 29. Where's 1900? Are you at the time? It's on page 24. Yeah, it says on page 24, it says 1900. <laughs> Now you're requesting from the community grant $1,900. Yes. Then, if the budget attached is budget for 2022, which comes to four, I don't know, it's a loss. So it's not actually, that's a, that's a, yeah. it's a cash flow budget. Projection. That one particular event, I think, I took it to both. So what is this? So could someone please explain to me what the nineteen hundred dollars are we speak of? <laughs> so they indicate the just the transfer cost for Rocky Point Trail Run participants. Mm. Assisted transportation costs. Is that just on there? Have we got a have we got an event support fund? What what is that not the purpose? We call that here the most Okay, well, on the basis of what I have received, I'm going to say no. <laughs> Sorry. Insufficient. Oh, mate, um, I more or less do the same because it's to run at a profit. So we're not there to fund things. So we have a profit. No, that. <laughs> No. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. um, oh, an apology from Robin. Yeah. Um, so, I was only I looked at the profits and I thought we've been asked to give 900. We might as well just give us a straight donation to the trail, although it's supporting us in the us. So to those who have looked at the budget, um, um, I, I don't see why it's even being required. It's all, all of that, the, the three um, estimates of fields all show that they're going to run out of profit. Why, why would they want us to to um, contribute to something that's making a profit for the trail. So I guess on that basis, I'm a no. Uh, I'm a yes, it's a new event. Um, it's not a community appeal. Okay, so that is the one on. So we have two maybes, three no's, two misses. So we can put it down as a maybe and see how it goes at the end. I'll be happy for it to be a maybe. Yeah. Oh, um, Charleston Hall is next. Their application is for the front of the hall footpath um, to be uh, replaced to make it more suitable for disability and wheelchair friendly usage. The application is for four eight. Yeah, four eight oh four forty. Um, Dave. Oh, yes. Um, I hear, I understand that it's a you know, community project and a good community to support, but then also I know that it's a reserve that's controlled and by a department conservation. And um, I assume that that's where the annual operating grant comes from, but I'm not sure. It didn't say who the grant was from, the 1,000, the, um, sorry, the operating grant. 
around the region or in our dis in the whole district that are, are similarly owned and so forth. So um, and given they said they're doing a lot of work here, I'm I'm going to go yes. Uh, for the same reasons as John, yes. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm abstaining from this one. Oh, okay. I'll be supportive of the revitalisation fund. Well, the question is, is it going to be eligible for that fund? Exactly. Well, I don't believe it will be. So, I'm, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm quite keen that the project um, goes forward. I have the same question as why isn't the Department of Conservation that's just in here. Um, I guess what I'm saying now then, it's a maybe. I'd like it to happen, but I'm not sure that all, that all options have been explored. What other options are there? I mean, I might be totally wrong. There may be none. This may be the only one. So put me as a maybe at this stage, because I do want to see it proceed. Okay. Um, Madam Chief, I just said, if there's any uh, detail on the doctor. Um, I don't specifically, but what I can say is that we had funded um, to this very same group last year for the car park and car park area. So if we had that issue back then, I would never reared its head. Um, we all know that Doc's got no money anyway, so they can't even deal with a no disrespect to Doc, but we can't get them to open a road up to the water supply at Wai Road. I don't think they're going to be funding a footpath at the Jamestown Hall. So. Let's not be delusional about that. Um, I'll also say I don't think it, 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 it all qualifies for the revitalisation fund because it's not on council land. So um, that's me. It does have to be. Through the, through the chair, it does not have to be. The strong preference is given if it's on, um, but it's, 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 it's any, any project within the Villa district. I'll change mine to a yes. Okay, cool. So we're going for yes. And then Margaret is yes, correct. Yeah. Um, awesome. So that um, gives us just try to do really good. Um, yeah. So one, two, three, four yeses, two no's, one point which is one happy. Our council is like two, so I Yes. Okay. And it is four, four, eight. Four, eight. Number three is the Citizens Advice Bureau. It is the rent for offices at the Clock Tower Building, um, Palmerston Street. It is thirteen thousand and seventy-one dollars. Council Hall. Well, I'll keep it off. Um, look, I'll put it down to partial funding. The reason. For that, obviously, is that we haven't funded it in the past. It's money in money out. We understand that, but um, if we carry on doing this, we it's it now we've reduced our funding for grants to um, seventy five percent of what it was. Um, this has a, a much higher and um, bigger undue impact on the amount of money available for other people around the district. And are we doing the right thing with leasing it that space to these people, or is there another option? So really, I think it's time that the message, from my perspective, went back that um, 
This just isn't a tick box exercise, and so I would only partially fill it. But so it's a maybe. Yeah, that's good. Um, I, I'm, look, I've said it's ridiculous since I've got on council. What, why don't we just charge them no reap and put them in there? Because essentially, all we're doing is getting the, the ratepayers to pay the pay for the service, and um, which they probably should anyway. So the um, uh, but to take it out of grants is, is nonsense. So, but then if you stand here and say we're not going to pay pay the pay the rent, then essentially you close down the business or the service. So. Who wants to be the one who who closes down the citizen advice bureau? <laughs> so I'm going to go. Oh, I don't know. I'm going to go. Maybe. There we are. I'll oh, scramble okay. things. Yep. Um, well, I pick up on both of what's been said, and I'm of the strong feeling that I have an idea that, that comes out of grants. If, remember the exercise at annual plan that we said these ones are here. This wasn't an annual grant thing, and I think it comes out, which covers both of what you're saying, it comes out before it goes into annual grants because there were some set grants there um, that we paid out, and this is community grants, and it didn't come into it. So I don't think it should be there. They might have gone through this process, but that money was allocated, I am fairly certain, out of the list of things um, that came out of um, the grant money, tourism and what was the other one? Tourism, what was yeah, that grants? Right. Tourism and grants. But no, no, this was just last year. And we went through our annual plan and we sat here we had to wait for an hour on that big whiteboard. I'll just thank you. I'll just I'll ask Chrissy, Chrissy to answer on that one, please. Thank you, Madam Chair. There was a discussion that we had around the table, and it was when we come to community grants that we were looking at reducing it to 50. Um, we decided it was going to say to 70, 75. Um, the operational costs that included um organisations such as the Citizens Advice Bureau. There was some discussion around the table at the time as to whether or not we would include that in our annual plan for um, ongoing because it's an internal rent that we're paying for them and we're covering it elsewhere. That was never decided upon. Um, so that had been included within the operational costs and I believe the comment at the time was that we didn't want to have anyone close their doors but the message that we wanted to start sending to the community was there are other funding streams available outside of council um, and, and just going on the, the points that the previous councillors have mentioned that there are other funding streams available and it's not a given every single year. So it is something that we could consider in the next year's annual plan. But this was something that was included in the community grants when we discussed it back in June. Yeah, I, I know that because I it was in this column, not the column down here. And I'd like to have a look to see a Photoshop. I've got it. I've got the Photoshop on the okay. whiteboard, so I'll click it as an email. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. Yeah, it was still included in community okay. grant. It was still included in the community yeah. grants, and it wasn't pulled out separately. That's the case. We don't have any choice but to say yes, and that's where it just diminishes um, all the community grants. And that's what I see. Yeah, no, it does. There's an impact across the unseen. Across the seat, which is unfair on to others when we're taking the money out. Just but exactly, we can't close them. Just exactly why I see partial farming and maybe. So, yeah. so I'll go maybe at the station. Mm -hmm. oh. Um, and yeah, you can go through this, and then we can. I mean, there's always an opportunity to go back once there has been a. Never go back. Um, yeah. um, Chair? Um, yes, I'm, I'm going to say yes, but I am going to make a suggestion that because, in my mind, we're distributing approximately half, even though we're going to stay open minded about it, but let's be reasonable. It is a six month for the next one, so no matter what we say, I think 
That's in my, the back of my mind. I'm suggesting that we give, say, yes, and give them half now, and then ask them to come back in the next six month round, and then. Um, oh, I don't know. Did we indicate to them at the time of the end of the I suppose we indicated to everyone that that the fund was diminished by 25%, effectively 25,000, and therefore there was no, for these ones that get the same every year, could I ask that Chrissy through the chair? Check the letters as we're going through this, if that's okay. Um, Jane's got it in there. Okay, we're going to check the letters to see if we've given these groups an indication, um, but I'm still, at, um, in this particular case, on the east. Um, Joe. I seem to recall when we did the, the region, we recognised that this would be coming up and we made sure that was sort of one of the ones that were popped up and allowed for. But I really think moving forward in the future, we really need to wean all the community grants because it is too, too much out of the bucket. Um, need to work with them as a couple of other funders. I, I know that they only worked, I think, with one other funder, which was oh. close by memory. But also I'm very concerned, I know we've had COVID, but um, big drop in numbers using the service. And I worked out for the number of clients that worked out was with, um, basically paying them $75 for every client. $77 each. So, yeah, I'll probably, probably go for partial funding, so. And Margaret. I'm going to say maybe. Um, yes, I, I, I think it, regardless there is a bit of a drop in numbers using the service, but I think given the socio-economic um, position in our, our district's in, I think it is a service that we want to ensure continues. So I'm saying yes, but, uh, but I'm going to say I do believe it beholds the incoming council to have a, a look at the whole thing and, you know, there must be some way that we can whoever made the, I think, Councillor Hall's money in, money out, uh, and it's, you know, surely we can do some application from them to use council facilities or something. I, I don't know. There must be a way forward. But in the meantime, for this year, I'm saying. Jamie? Um, yeah, I'm the yes as well. I'm just wondering if those numbers, I believe the budget advisory people work earlier too, is that probably not a Numbers I'm assuming for which the people are not going to mind or to go down to the other talk. No good budget advice. Um, so I'm yes, and the way I look at it is that if that citizen advice for any other building in town, they would be legitimately applying for their rent and we'd be considering. So it's, to me, it's relevant that they have to be renting their building, their room off council. We should be looking at it on a like for like basis. So I'm yes. Okay, with well, that we have five maybe and three uses. Okay. If we can put it in the native part and come back, we just okay. <coughs> oh, it's gonna be a yeast, but it's a quarter one. So yeah, they they were notified that as were all of them, that the um the grants would potentially only 25% less than previous years. Yeah. And we've had discussions about it before, about mm -hmm. occupying that particular place. You know, the amount of clientele that they get, do they need to have to fix that particular fixed amount of space? Can we do a coffee shop? Yeah. Right, so the next item is uh, 5.4. It's the Island Creek Lodge. Um, yeah. Application is here and they are applying for $4,200. Me? It's instigation, installation of their. Um, um, I, look, I, I know nothing about this and reading it, and you're going. Oh, sorry. Probably, although it's the most expensive. Yes. Um, um, Gas um, installed in the history of gas installs, but that's probably business up in Creek somewhere. So, um, uh, yes. It's not. Where is it? Just on the side of Buller Adventure Tours. Oh, that one. Yes. One showing nothing. The building. Oh, that one. Disappeared. Oh, 
Und dann, ähm, äh, ähm, Could be the size of the California that they need. Yeah, that's that big. Anyway, um, so therefore I'll go, uh, maybe. Sorry, I went um, by the way around. Dave, you yeah, should have been first. My yeah. apologies. Yeah. So, um, and I thought a lot about it, and um, it's kind of the thing that we, that we intend community grants to, to kind of encourage. And um, yeah, when I first read it, it was kind of really, and then more of it when I first looked. But when I read it, I, I thought that it was something that we want to encourage. Um, so it's a yes for me. Um, I would say a maybe yes because partial, they're just getting started up. Yes, they need it, and it would give them the opportunity to go out and do some other funding to try and get it. So, um, probably partial funding. So, a maybe yes, yeah. Um, Sharon. Oh, yes. Um, I, I don't know, probably not to the full extent, but definitely enough to going. I think it's great to see if something like this finally getting used again. And um, what a great way to use it. So I'm a, I'm a yes, but I wouldn't be going the full amount. But at the moment, you just ask them yes, maybe or no. So I'm a yes. I will put my yes on that same basis. Yes. Yep. You can change me to. If you don't mind. Yeah, that's the To no. I mean, to yes. Don't. Yeah, right. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, yeah. Yes. 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 Five is Kaitiaki Makanui, uh, Chair of a Trust. There's no brainer. Uh, this oh. is work on the Chisholm Creek walkway uh, for seven hundred dollars. Is what they're, uh, they're requesting from community grants. Dave. Dave. Yep. And I guess. And I guess. And so that I can expedite some of these yeah. things. Why don't we ask who doesn't want to do it? Who's in favour? Oh, oh yeah. done. Yep. Excellent. Um, you do Early Learning Centre, 5.6. Rosalie, oh, here we go. Conflict on this one. Yeah, it's just one of these awkward ones that closed down, got started again. That's when my name got on the um, opening a bank account and it's still there, but they've had quite a hiccup over COVID because it's on school property and it had to close down over COVID and it's just new people have resurrected again trying to get up and understand how it goes. Um, as to yeah, getting the structure up and going again and they need to really... Um, it funded because it's important for the kids, but it's just the fact it fell over during COVID and a new group are just coming to grips with getting things. Right. Um, what does it create that they would have about 40 children? No, that's people included, parents and all the kids. I think 40 sounds a bit high. Yeah, no, but no, when you take parents and caregivers, and things. What do you say I, no, I would have said 25 to 30, but I'm a wee bit out of touch too. And um, I, I was just 
um, you may not know about the counts, but I just thought I'd ask you is basically for all your expenses, and I could say the bank balance, the COVID probably explains that. Yeah. Um, and obviously, as a there's a play group that are probably not eligible for any funding to support. Well, that's where it came to a stop because they were getting Ministry of Ed funding beforehand and that stopped. So now they're just going, working through without that and just getting their ducks in a row. Um, but they do have the costs of cleaning and electricity as you saw in the report. Yeah. So they just need to regroup more or less again because there's quite a lot of waves that um, when it closed again. So I really think it does need support for them to be able to regroup because it's important for the kids. I think it's essential. Right, councillors, all those in, how about we just do all those in favour? Or questions or? Parents get funding something. Yeah. 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 So parents get funding. Yeah. They, they, they work on the yeah. Okay, we'll go through this one individually, I think. Yeah. So, um, Dave? Yeah, I thought Rosie and Mel should finish talking, we're just going to give you the auto suggestion and I'm just going with whatever. <laughs> but no, um, <laughs> honestly, further learning, uh, having gone through the process of getting uh, with the reef and one setting up, they have to be um, um, comply with the, you know, the and meet the um, obligations, and that's called trained teacher, train staff, and et cetera, et cetera. To, to qualify for the government grant. So it's, it's a yes for me because I think that um, it's a, a really necessary part of the um, community. It's um, with or not form out or partial. It's just a, yeah. So yes, maybe partial. John? So um, one has to ask if they're going to be teaching them three R's reading, writing, and arithmetic. And so we've got electricity. And a um, <laughs> and the I can't work out how it's two thousand dollars for a cleaner when they paid them twenty five dollars a fortnight, and the PA and the maintenance, if any, so they're basically putting five hundred dollars something that might happen. So if there's ever a something that come down, it's probably that. So I'm I'm going to say yes, but for probably about three quarters of. It. Need to donate early learning books so the literacy improves. Yeah, for the right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Maybe have next there. Mary? I can't tell them what's free anymore. Oh, I've got the same Oh, sorry. Um, we, we have um, Sharon. Yeah, I'm, I'm a yes, but I, I wouldn't be considering the whole um, thing, but I'm a to support it getting up and running again, um, but definitely not to the full mammals uh, or around the 50% mark. Joe? Mm -hmm. no, I read that and I thought it was 40 children that was going to be paying $120 each for the benefit service. It was obviously pretty much much higher. I'm only willing to go to about $2,000. I think um, I need to look at something more sustainable. I think we have something ongoing to our community funding at the time. To get them going again is partial. And then we have, ah, uh, right. Yes. Okay. Partial. Yep. And Phil. Partial. Okay. Yes. Yep. Carl. And so, so that's yes. Um, so, so, so they request the full amount before eight. Now we'll go through the amount at the end, I think. Yeah. So we have uh, 5.7 is the Kawateri riding for the disabled. Didn't we find a horse? We did. <laughs> so <laughs> their application is for $3,000. Um, for uh, training of their um, coach. So, <laughs> Dave. Can I start with you, please? Um, again, maybe. Yeah. Thank you. 
Oh, gosh. Um, maybe. No. No? Yeah. Okay. And then Sharon. <laughs> Councils. <laughs> that was the whole um, okay, Joe. I know it's a, a very um, expensive service to provide for disabled, uh, but they do a lot of good with them, um, disabled and children that don't group and make other services. And they must have a compliant um, coach as part of the service. I know how difficult that seems to be in training and that. So I sympathise with them. So I'll put a partial 2000. Okay. And then Margaret, yes, for me. Oh, my heart. And then um, Phil. Oh, Phil. Yes. Yep. Oh, and 5.8 is the Kawateri Youth Voice Council. Mm -hmm. um, yep. So, just this is just for clarification. Can you can please confirm, Chrissy, that? They well, we have budgeted ten thousand from from the district council fund for youth anyway outside of this application. Sorry, the chair. Thank you. Mm -hmm. um, so they get a ten thousand um, dollar a year grant that's in the long term plan, which is to go towards wages. So um, I believe what they're asking for here is some um, support for their events. Right, Dave. Dave. Hmm. Um, I like the initiative. I think it's something we're trying to come up. So, um, <coughs> yeah, it's made. Okay, John. Um, I actually had trouble reading what the request was. Um, they talk about holding a, hosting a, is it a An event. panel? That will discuss conversations around climate change workshops. So, is that what, what it is? Yes, it is. Um, maybe. Um, yeah, maybe. They would have had that, whatever the word is there, fear on the 10th of September. So, can you help Hazel there? Did they make, were you involved or not? No, you don't know how they. Oh, it's a concert. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, I saw a T in there, so I couldn't work out. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, so they should have got some funding, go partial. Yeah, because if they've had the fear, they should have got some funds from that. And yeah. And now we go to Sharon. Um, I'm, I'm a no, and it's not that I don't like the initiative, but I think having funded ten thousand dollars already, we've, we've given a fair amount to, to in support of youth. Um, so for that reason, that reason only. Okay, Joe. I really support the initiative, but I, I've got down here my notes. Um, is there another way of doing this? It's really that some of that laundry is saying what to do, but based on globalisation and climate change adaptation. Um, yeah, we have given such a lot to them. I'm just wondering if there's any other buckets or ones we could approach to support. I'm wondering about smart um, and environmental. They have to do so many education days. I'm just whether we can help them in some other way and put them in touch with other funders. So, on that note, um, Westry supports you know, X number of uh, community projects each year. Would this be one of them? We can note that. We can, can note, we um, could note that. Pass some information on. Just on. Yeah, next one. Okay, based on that, what is your job? No, to really grasp, but I want to see a really good support from another source. Yep, we can get them um, in touch. Yep, and we can see what support them. Uh, okay, Margaret. Um, mine is going to be no. Yep. 
Bill? Yeah, I'm a definite yes. We don't look after our youth. We're going nowhere. I, I, I think over the last couple of years, they've been pretty well organised. We've come here and made presentations to us on, on the success of the events that they have held. Um, I support them fully. Um, I think if we went through and looked at all the grants we're giving them, the amount that would benefit our older community far outweighs that that we're giving to our youth. So, I'm um, yes. Yes. So, so, based on this, we have um, two maybes, one yes partial, three no's, and two yeses. I would suggest that as a maybe. Yeah, maybe. Can I just suggest that we, of course, have this money coming from three waters, which is towards climate change. This whole thing seems to be climate change. Surely shouldn't that come be funded out of there? How much we put aside in, in that three waters? 500. Oh. take. Yeah, so this, but that, this is an event. The other one is for adaptation. Adapta adaptation. Um, well, no, I would. Anyway. I think we should go through a proposal and go back to the Department of Internal Affairs to approve it. So it's the absolute. Yeah, and that event would have actually yes. already happened by that stage. That's why you need to make a submission to the new council. Yes. Potentially. So we've got that as a maybe. Yeah. 5.9 is the New Zealand Food Network, food, um, food Bank Distribution for Buller. Uh, this is run by Neil Stevenson, uh, who goes across to Leiston once a month. Uh, for and This is for fuel expenses and running car expenses for $2,000. How do councillors feel as if we just from, oh, from Dave from here on in for the next for the remaining ones just to speed things up? Is we just go um, yes, no, or maybe with raise of hands? Okay, unless we, we have anything that well, unless well, you well, want, well, unless you need, well, well, would you, are you happy to speak to things? Or I think to be fair to the people that have gone forward, the right. ones coming up, sorry, um, they need to be treated the same. Right, we'll do the same. And I think it can be quicker. But... Okay, Dave. Um, we're on food bank. I was a yes. John? Um, I don't know if there's so many people that have been from this. So, yes. And Rosalind? Passion. Stop and read from the way. Yeah. Yep, and then we have Sharon. Right, well, I have some questions around this because I want to know why Mutini Waiora, because it sounds like by reading this that he's actually doing the work on behalf of them, if I read it rightly with their letter that they've written. And if I wish Ned was there, because Ned has indicated that, that some of these um, groups are getting quite well funded. So I just wonder why they aren't supporting Neil to be out delivering food that they're receiving, unless I've read this wrong. Can someone help me? Yeah, I can help there. Um, so, um, yes, he's regularly um, supplying quite a number. They've got a list of people they supply, but they will supply about like, number 37, a whole lot of other, um, a team way or a whole lot of other ones of food. He goes over to Christchurch to food back, <laughs> but they have sent up a, one down hook of chicken now that's going to be distributing this as well, and that's um, and, uh, the um, but there's a, there's a big name, you know, look at the price, groceries gone up and then it's a need for both services. The only thing I put down here, it's a bit of a lack of accountability, you know, it'd be nice if you just put in this petrol receipt to make sure that approves it. Uh, so you have some accountability behind this fund, but um, I just ran up and query has definitely been doing a regular delivery of supplies to a number of organisations. I'm struggling because I just think it should be the organisations reimbursing it. I'm not doubting that there's a need, I'm not doubting that you're doing a darn good job. Um, I don't think you'll find that they get funded for giving out food parcels and supporting the community. There was an article about the message or something about the school. 
end of the queue, which is pretty much generated as well. Uh, well, maybe because I don't want to hold everything up. Yeah. Um, then Joe was going to yes. Um, and yes. we have yep. Margaret, and then we have Bill. Definitely, yes. In terms of the accountability that someone mentioned, I see this guy out here with his trailer load of food every week. He's definitely making these trips. What they're asking for here wouldn't go anywhere near his recovery. For uh, I mean, he's donating a huge amount to this. Good on him. I'm definitely support it. It's unfortunate that we need it, but we do. So I'm um, uh, yes. Yes. So that means one, two, three, four, five, six uses, one use from partial, that is a yes. yes for 2000. 5.10 Palm Street Gallery. Mm -hmm. Running costs for six months to enable to return, uh, to remain operating until hopefully tourists return. So, question around this again, would this not be a real relief? Um, type of request because the funds available in the middle of the week. If we were looking to donate, no, well, that's all just a part of it. So, I, I was a off the bat, was in, um, I figured, um, yeah, this probably fits. Given to my reader, explanation was around lack of tourists and all that. It's probably yeah, more business, business, business support than your DWC. Yeah, because that's what they're arguing. That's yeah. why you. And if it's my turn next, yes. Um, I think so that's. Uh, I, I was a no. John? The whole thing's fundamentally flawed. If you've got essentially, if we've been asked to pay for a FPOS lease, $70 a month, and the estimated sales are come at $200 a month, I mean, it's, it's a failed business. So why would we support something that clearly is never going to succeed in the month of Sundays? And the other thing in here, probably being far too blunt, but the um, other thing in here is to, it's, it's to provide a, a place for artists to drop in and have a chat. I mean, I'm sorry, but you know, because bench seats in the park for that. So no. And Rosalind. Yeah, I'll go with partial again. I'm not saying a no, but yeah. Okay, and then we have Sharon. We've introduced this new partial yeast thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Only for Rosalie's column. <laughs> oh, so yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, so then we go for Joe. Um, I was wondering if we could get down to what we've got West Coast support. I see it, as, it being a business support, although on the other side too, it's it also all the art is a cultural side, but um, we've gone through this before with them and we see that back in the past it was a once-off to get them on their feet and to restructure their business and here they are coming back, so I think it's going to be an ongoing thing. I'm reluctant to support them. Probably no. But given the leave support, I'm going to be able to ask those maybe referral. Yep. And Margaret. I'd be yes for, sorry, for a referral to DWC. So, no, sorry, in this case, no. And then we have Phil. Yeah, look, I'm the now on the same grounds that, uh, that Joe pointed out. We had a very similar application 12 months ago, and it was sort of a plea. Give us this now, and we will be able to carry on in the future. We won't come back to you. But, so, no. Jamie? No. So, that is it's a no. A no. Uh, 5.11 is the Reefton Powerhouse Charitable Trust. They're seeking funding to realign, uh, to assist in the realignment of the public bottled lightning walkway. Yeah. Oh. And David was no, was true. Yeah, sorry. And John. This is a major thing for Reefton, and um, as all the things for Reefton are, <laughs> so the um, but this this particular thing has come out of nowhere. 
in terms of the path it's there. And the other thing is since we gave the, the revitalization grant for the um, strand walk that's linked into this, and now this is the most heavily used um, track in, in town. Um, every day there's literally hundreds of people going around this, this thing, and they're going to have to, um, I don't know, pole jump over, over a culvert to get there. So I would just like to clarify one thing um, for people for the, you know, this is completely out of the monetary side of the discussion. The track, current track travels over land owned by the trust. So it travels over private trust owned land that is a building construction site. So it's a public track, but where it goes through and is being rerouted is away from the construction site. On, it's still on the private land. So it's still, well, so, so if you go back to the point I'm making here is that back when the whole, all the major funding and those numbers were huge, the amount of money they got, but when that was first asked for, nobody was walking over there. And, and now, as a consequence of other events, everyone's walking there and it was never contemplated they needed that back then. And they, while it's huge amounts of money, 2.6, what is it? About 3.4 million. Um, it's all gone, all allocated, and they're scrambling for money. So um, I guess that my mind's yes, and it has to be whittled down a bit from the 15,000. Well, so be it. Um, I say no um, for the fact that if it can be out of revitalization, yeah, I hear that it's on public land. But how long is the trek going to be needed for? Oh, Pardon? No, no, you're saying during construction. 18 months. 18 yeah, months. Yeah. Yeah, for 18 months. Yeah, so it's going to be for 18 yeah. months. Well, we have a similar situation up in the north where we've got a road closed to our icon because of work being done and it's affecting businesses big time. And that's the Oparara Road because work's being done and we're being told, suck it up. So I know you're on the trust board, Dave, but my understanding, talking to the chairman, is that this, this part will stay in a formal fashion and there's a way of getting over the, the, the water and taking everything else, and it will be there full time. So it's, it's going to do a, a temporary solving, which will then become permanent. No, Revitalisation, yeah. Because, um, yeah. Did you share from the special? And then we have um, Joe. Um, no, for this, but the, um, definitely look at them. They're really like a revitalization. Um, Margaret? I'll well, say so no um, in the revitalization. Yes, give them 10 grand. Sorry? Yes, give them 10 grand. <laughs> um, and Jamie? Yes. Um, okay, then. So that, that means. Oh, so that's Maybe. Oh, sure. So yeah, it kind of was also made there. So maybe. So, thank you, councillors. 5.12 is the um, SPCA. Oh, oh gosh, this is frame out centre. Now this is asking for funding towards a uh, slip and chip animal dissection campaign, um, which has been very successful here in the, the whole region. Yes. Just pizza. Yes, they are requesting fifteen thousand. Can I ask a question? Yes, you can. From my reading of it, is this the funding for? For the whole of the West Coast, or is this just? I mean, it's not just for the Buller, is it? Yeah, this is for all portions. Is it just for the portion? Yeah, because Grace sunk. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. No, maybe. Pending. Yeah. Okay. Dave. Um. Oh, it was a no. This. Yeah. Just I think there are other priorities. People still. John. Um, I'm, I'm, no, I'm, I think should be at humans. Right. 
Probably. And I'm yeah. saying no because I understand they've had quite a request um, for this little one. Is that correct? Um, it seems to be fairly well known that um, they had quite a reasonable amount of money left to the Buller SPCA. So um, I'm saying no on that basis. And Sharon? I'm saying no, because I think it should be you who pays. And I think if you're an animal, then it's your responsibility if you want it to do six to do that. Sharon? Yeah, I'm saying no, and I'm just looking at that. They're asking, only doing a limited number. They're asking us to pay at least you know, 75 percent of the fees. So, yeah, if they're only driven fee, they're expecting us to contribute the other 75 or something. Um, I'm also going to say no, and uh, Rose is correct. They have received a number of very generous donations um, recently to the Buller area, and um, I would like to see some of that money be used for this uh, for these vouchers. So no for me. It's all been said. No. No. Okay, Dan, no, I'm no. Um, thank you. So no is that one. Uh, 5.13 Sacred Heart School, Reefton Parent Teacher Association. Um, this is in relation to having a swing in the playground, uh, which will be for, um, for Jackson, Jackson and also other children who are um, disabled in that. It's a basket swing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, and John. Uh, yeah, no, absolutely, yes. The um, Sacred Heart School have just they've raised uh, from the community um, loads and loads of money towards it. Huge amounts of volunteer hours have gone into this whole playground and everything else. And um, they've got an amazing ability to um, extract um, um, purposes and, and um, from everybody else, and this young Jackson, he's a great wee kid. And the other thing is, this this uh, playground is really heavily used after, um, not just during the school, but after hours as well. So, absolutely, one hundred percent, yes. Uh, partial, because I find it's yeah a very emotive one. And um, looking at those funds, just what John's saying, um, yeah, I've raise funds, but they've certainly got the potential to raise a lot more. So, um, yeah. Sharon? Um, I'm a yes, partially. Thank you. I'm a yes. Mm -hmm. Sharon? And Margaret? Uh, I'm a yes, partial, please. Yes. And yes. Yep. Cool. Yes. And yes. Uh, let's go as a general as it is. And there was three. Yes. Yeah. Um, 5.14 victim support puller. Um, victim support puller. So, speak. And back. Yeah. Um, I can't remember. It's a huge amount of money. It's the sort of stuff. I was quite surprised. Um, and I guess it's just a small contribution you require from uh, BDC. Um, so, yeah, partial. Is it John? Ditto. Yep, ditto. Okay. okay. Rosalind? That's what I said, yeah. Yep. Ditto. Um, so, and then we have yeah, Sharon. Yep, same, same as speech. Okay. I could use, but given we've reduced by 75%, they got a um, similar amount last time, so maybe 75% or 1,000 to make it 3,000. Okay. Um, Margaret? Um, yes. Wait, and then we've got. Yes. And Jane? Yes. Thank you, councillors. Westport Early Learning Centre. Your application is for 2,979. It's for the computer, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. It's for the computer. Yeah, guarding edges around the um, playground garden area. Okay. Dave? Uh, 5.15, page 287. Oh, 
Um, maybe Ashley. Oh, um, um, and then we have John. Um, Tony, it probably yes, partial, but I was staggered at how much money they've got. They're far from a pecunious organisation, so um, I'm, I'm less inclined to um, contribute to a computer as I am to pay for aging. I think aging is probably the one. The computer, they've certainly got more than enough money for that. And given the rest of the stuff they've been buying, when you look through the um, balance sheet, even skimp and save. So, at the edge of years. Um, Rosalie? Um, I'll, I'll say partial, but I do note that the um, quote for the edging expired back in um, June. Sharon? Well, I'm a conflict on the computer, but I am going to speak to the edging because the Westport Early Learning Centre, correct me if I'm wrong, had a massive makeover um, by my team back um, after the floods. So I'm just a bit curious about how all of a sudden these things are just gardening. Um, but I'm conflicted, so that's all I'm going to say. <laughs> so you're. So you're I'm conflicted so because the quote is from IT. So I can't. Oh, yeah, so, um, so you can enjoy. I'll put these little panel shorts on the back. Yeah, so we So I also picked up the fact that they've, they've had the makeover already. So I'm going to say maybe. Okay. And then we have yeah, so like um, Councillor Belgian, I support the edging. The computer to me looks like a nice to have, not there's nothing changed on the operation in this period of time. I wouldn't want to. Yeah, so partial. Yeah, and Jamie. Did they get me all released? Oh. Um, they were flooded. Yeah, they did. Yeah, they, did. They, they were flooded and they went into the um, all those coverings yeah. for a period of time, and, and we did give some funds with regard to the move, you know, their movement costs and so on, yeah. in order to reset up there. And then they did have the um, whole playground makeover done by my team. So that's managing for a so it's looking like a yes, yes, partial. Westport Men's Shed, number 5.16. Uh, Joe will be abstaining from this. Um, no, it's rent and um, general expenses. General expenses, yeah. Uh, I'm going to go yes. I think it's a great thing. Oh, um, and Rosalind? I'll go okay, yes. Probably partial again, which I'm doing for what I am. Sharon? I'm a yes. And Joe is? Oh, no, 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 I'm yep. staying aside. <laughs> <laughs> and Margaret, yes. And then we have... Definitely yes. Uh, uh, the, these guys of well, these this organisations provided great support to our community over these troubled times. Um, well done to them. I support it. Jamie? Yes. Um, yes. Thank you. Uh, 5.17 is Westport Municipal Band. Funding is sought to cover um, their insurance. So can I just seek clarification on this? Yep. Please? So they own their building. So this is not a council building or anything else, so they are. And it must be some building. I've never seen it. The right, the insurance seems high for just a hall. Could be um the gear or something like that. Yeah, so sorry, Dave. Yeah, I, look, I, I think it is. I think it's Okay. Um, and again, I had made partially, yeah. um, but I would say no, that um, 
Seem to be the insurance, pay all the insurance for half a bullet. Um, so, yes, but I, I suggest they go and have a chat to Marsh. Right. I'm the same, Marshall. Okay, then we have Shannon. Yeah. Well, with regard to the amount, I think page 351 gives you the statement of account, which says renew. Three. Renew material damage, public liability, statutory liability. So it sound, looks like it might be all insurances. Um, and if they've covered themselves for um, earthquake damage, then it probably is up around that. Just know what it costs to add that into. And, um, I think they do a great service for the community. Um, probably along the same lines as a citizen advice in a way for me, and that we've funded this sort of thing every year, year in, year out. So. I'm going to go use partial, just depending on what we do for the likes of citizens' advice, because I think we need to follow the same sort of methodology if we're going to just fund 75% or something like that. You know, we need to follow that through with these ones that have been getting them regularly, so that it's just not a full shot to them. And... Yeah, I've got the same answer. We're going to win. We've cut back on our family grants, and that was a really good thing of it. So I think the 75% and um, Encouraging them to look my brother. I'm partial. Oh, yes. It's interesting, isn't it, that we ask, well, we might, you know, cut everything back. Well, hell, everything's going up for these bloody organisations. And if, if they haven't been able to source funding in the past from anywhere else, and I, this tells me that we've just got to stop funding new ventures and things rather than cutting down on those that are that we acknowledge are doing a great thing for the town. So, oh, look, I'm a yes. Okay. I'm a yes. Oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, thank you, councillors. Well, do you have a uh, an amount? So, yes, yeah, so that is um, essentially six. Oh, sorry, this is good. Uh, so that is uh, essentially sixty-seven. Yeah. Oh, but oh, yeah. having yeah. yeah. that, and then so that means you have different seven. If, if we would stick with this, we have seven. Um, Seven thousand six hundred and fifty. Now, what I'd like to ask councillors to do is we'll go back and do each each um, application individually because we have got some as partial, some as full amounts. Dave, would this not be a particular time now to decide um, you know, how we want to push it? Do you want to go 60-40 or something or whatever? In terms of, in, in terms of our, our, our expectation. Um, or rather than ones we're going to allocate this round, we can be this round. I mean, at least we've already decided what we're going to do, and that will help us okay. you know, retain a fear and balanced view of each, each decision. So, I mean, I'm proposing that we allocate 60% this round, but the high uptake or high application rate of grounds, we might be prepared to, to look at up to 60% of the market. Can I push those two into the revitalization fund? Thank you, then. So you're saying 45. This is 45 30. So just this graph that I'd, I'd like to see pushed out of what we can do the other funding first. Okay. Okay. No, I don't 
I don't agree with this for what's the revive it for revitalization. I think it stands on its own merit here or doesn't. In my view. Once more around Mayo was a presentation, that's the thing. So I think it fits that criteria better than it does. Yeah, but what kind of community gun? Is it health? Is it oh sorry. Councillors, I'll just take one here from um, Councillor Roach. Then what we're going to, we're proposing to do is just to tidy up a few things here on the computers. We're going to have a five minute break. First of all, Sharon. Yeah, okay, so I'll pop an end up but yeah. so we've got a bit of point of order here. Um, but I actually agree with Councillor Hortz because, and Councillor Howard is that, in a sense, Councillor Howard is that I think most of the grants, the bigger ones, so if you take citizens advice, come in and that first, you're looking at a whole year's worth of application revenue and so on, all for the 60 40 split, thinking about what the sum of money is, and bearing. Having that in mind, I, I like the idea of a five minute break where we can reshuffle this into some sort of order. Um, but I, I'm all for the 60 40 split. Okay, let's just do a five. I'd like to propose that we do a five minute break right now for the staff to go through and just sort out the numbers and get it clarified down um, here. And then we will come back and um, make the decision then. Okay, so we've got a five minute break. Thank you.
Next one, our Thank you, Councillor. Right, so I'd like to go. We would like to go. Oh, I don't need this. Then, do I? Go back to the start, please. Oh. So we have we have some for partial, some are no, and some are yes. And it's up to us to decide now. Um, I'm taking on board um, Councillor Hawes's comments about 6040. Um, if we were to go through and do each amount, we will probably come up with something very close. So let's start at the top. The uh, Charleston Westport Coastal Trail Trust. The application is for $1,900. We have gone maybe. Put a boil on the side. Boil's gone. I'm not going to leave this. Can I just say that, uh, Madam Chair, yeah. even though it was a no, um, it looks like it's going to get support from this, this um, table. So if you're going to do that, there is the budget that they uh, proposed didn't actually show um, where it was going to fit in the profit and loss. It was just a simple request for, um, and they did indicate what it was, would be used for. So it doesn't seem to me that if it's, a, if it's a lesser amount, it's going to have a huge impact. So why don't you just decide to give it $1,000? Here, here. I'd like to have a motion on the table for an amount. I see. The amount I is $1,000. Mm -hmm. Okay. No. And the next one is, is, do we actually need a motion or do we just need a raise of hands as to who's in favour? Just raise of hands. And we'll put the thousand dollars in the amount granted. Right. All those in favour of yep, thousand dollars. Samira? Yeah, I'm abstaining. And you are abstaining on over this. Taking your abstention into account. Charles Ball, number two. Applications for four thousand. This one. Mary, you're oh, quite on the way. Charleston. 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 Every, the, 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 no's, no, the no's have been taken yeah, out. Ah. Yeah, the no's have been taken out. Right. Yeah, yeah, I, I, should, I, I had Charleston for four dollars a yes. Yeah. That's what I made it. Oh, right. Oh, so we're doing the maybe's back in. Yeah. Citizens oh. Advice Bureau. Then I believe that this should be 65. I'll second that. Oh, no, no, no. So 75% of 1307. is $9,803. $9,803. That is 75% councillors. <coughs> okay, raise of hands, all those in favour? Against? Carried. Third one down, Kawateri Youth Voice Council is 1,900 and... Okay. So that is carried. Next no. 1,000. Reefton Powerhouse Charitable Trust. The application, no. It was for 15,000. It was 15,000. Yeah. On that basis then, so it's, it's a 75% venue. Uh, 9,000. 9, yeah. Are we going 75%? Yeah, yeah. We're doing about 60. 75% is more than nine. 60 is the overall fund, but if you're talking about how much we reduce the ground files by 25%, that's really low to the 70. So let's get it clear on which one we're using. Right. So, so that's more than nine. So that'd be 11,250. That would be 75% or 60% would be 9,000. 
I sort of have an issue on that because the two guys involved have different stories. Because, um, yeah, well, Dave said it's temporarily, temporary for 18 months, and um, John saying it's there permanently. Sorry, no, the path will be there permanently. I did correct that earlier on. You know, the closure period will be temporary for 18 months if, if there was no alternative route for safety reasons. Yeah, yeah, so it can still. <clears throat> That path is there for 18 months. No, no, the path is there forever. But it is it is um, needed um, to say to the people to pass through the room. Yeah, yeah, for 18 months yeah. because of someone who's been. But it's there, it is the permanent part, part of, the, of the whole thing. Good little bridge and all sorts of stuff. So, councillors in the mound? I just think it's over the amount that we can really handle for community grants now. In this round, so yeah. in this round, I think so. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, please. When, do the re when does the revitalisation pool go out now? So it's, open, it's going to open next week and it will close the end of October. And it will be distributed on the mid November. And how much is it in total? 50. Which is nothing. Oh, it's more than nice. Yeah. Well, nice. Oh. That counts as I'm going to move 10,000. I'll second that. Show of hands, please, councillors. One, two, three, again. Three, again. Can I ask a question? Yes. Is if, if they got some from this, would they still be eligible for the revitalisation fund? Yes, yes, they would be. Yeah. Okay, oh, could I? So oh, I don't know what you're doing with that motion. Uh, that motion has been lost for um, 10,000. Could I propose oh, three or more? Three, three oh, four. Oh, I voted as well. Oh. Do you have to deliver a vote, or is it only me? I'm allowed to vote on all of them. Exercise and exercise. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> yeah. Because of the size of the revitalisation, there's no way that I would, I would suggest that they'll get 15. So I'm proposing a new motion on the table for five. You want to make it seven and a half? I'll see. Okay, seven and a half. It's like a billion. It is. Um, right, I have a. An amount at the moment for seven and a half, which would be 50%. All those in favour? Well, that's complete. Five, 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 four. Okay. So the amount, the amount is seven and a half at the moment. Thank you, councillors. Within the leader, can also advise them to go to the revitalisation. You can do that as well. The next one is then these are yeses. yeses. And there was and then there was yes partial. So I put in the full amount, but put a note behind this is partial. So there's the full amount from councils and like partial. How much do we have outstanding at the moment at the bottom? If we were to yeah, so at the moment we are at so we have to go if you want 60 40, we have to get to 45 and be on. 54 seven. So we've got to those partial ones anyway. So if we go back to Island Creek. So at the moment, Island Creek is 4-2. The next one down is the 700 from Mokanui. Karamea Early Learning is 4, thank you, 4-8. We, now we did say partial on that one. I'll see you next. Um, show of hands, please, councillors. Upstairs. Yeah. So it's one, two, three, four, five. <coughs> oh, I'm no, only because I want to go more, but that's right. Okay. Oh, so at the moment, it is, I think, a show of hands, we have $2,000. Yeah, it's passed. 
Next one down is the Kawateri Road Riding for the Disabled. Your application was for 3,000. We have said partial. Do I have an amount, Council? I was just hoping that we hadn't bought Eric because he was only 500 bucks and we got done. Thank you, Councillor. <laughs> so we, have a, we have an amount of uh, $2,000. Show of hands, please. Thank you. So it'll be 2000 for that one. Uh, yes, was the following one. Partial was the Westport Municipal Band. Now, I like changing mine in there. I think it's good to talk about. This was in relation to their insurance. I'd like to. I mean, I, no, I think that one should be the full amount. I think so too. I'm going to propose 3,003 of whatever it is. And I'll second that one. Show of hands, please, councillors. Okay. Yes, full amount. Should I'm going to be honoured. <laughs> That's right. I hope they know that I The Westport Early Learning Centre is the bottom one here. Mm. <laughs> Which was also partial. So their application was for 2,979. So this was the, the edging and computer. computer. Mm -hmm. 1,000? Yeah. So I have an amount of 1,000. All those in favour? Against? Okay, I'm abstaining. Abstain for abstention. So it's 1,000. Okay, so we are at the moment at 489. Four, four, so, yeah. 489. Four, Move that the, um, as voted on, the were running back. We also have one more amount there, which I can't see as the Kawateri Youth. Um, the Territory Voice Youth um, Council. No, we gave it a thousand. Sorry, I'm just going back. <laughs> okay, so we, have a set, so we have a motion on the table to fulfill that we pass them as they are right now. Can I have a seconder, please. Thank you, Dave. Um, we've, we've got a list of that there right at the very start, and we're going to have um, with each one who has abstained, whether it's Sharon, Rosalie, Joe, or Dave, we've got all that listed here. Okay, so taking into account, we do have abstentions on numbers 6.1 for Sharon, 6.2 for Sharon. 6.6 .6 for Rosalie, 6.11 for Dave, and Sharon was also 6.15, and Joe was 6.16, which is the men's share. Yeah. So taking into account the abstentions for those, we've got to have, we need to have one motion on the table at the end of this uh, that we pass that amount there for 4H. Phil's passed it. Dave's seconded it. Can we have a carry? Show of hands, please. All those in favour, thank you. Against? Carried. Rosalie, did you vote? Thank you. Thank you, councillors. Thank you very much, staff, for that. Mira, can you just tell me what the second hat was? Thank you, councillors, and thank you for your um, patience in going through those um, item by item. <coughs> Agenda item number six is the community grant. Sorry, Dave. Hello. I just wanted to say before we move on, I just want to thank Vera and crew for um, <coughs> making the process far less onerous than it's been in the past. It was uh, good to see the structure that allows us to move through the process easily. So, thank you very much. Very good, thank you. Right, agenda item number six is a community grant accountability received reports. Um, I'm going to take this item here as being read. 
Uh, we have attachments here from the Charleston Hall, the Citizens Advice, the Monokanui Charitable Trust, Karamea Craft Group, the Karamea Estuary Enhancement Project, the Westport Men's Shed and your Municipal Band. Um, Joe, where are you six? So we have, yeah, we have number six here for Joe's. <laughs> <laughs> I have a motion on the table, please, uh, from councillors that we receive this um, correspondence information. Thank you, Joe. No. And minus, I should say no. Thank you, yeah. Sharon. Yes. Can I have a seconder, please? Um, thank you, Dave. Is there anything uh, councillors would like to discuss in those reports? Okay, all those in favour, they be accepted. Thanks. Carried. Thank you. Then the last item is uh, item number seven community revitalisation accountability reports received from the Carters Beach Reserve Committee, the Kaitiaki Mokanui Charitable Trust, and the Omea Domain Board. And we've got the completion report from the men sheet here, which Joe also has conflict with. Um, we're just receiving these reports here for information. Is there anything in those reports that anyone would like to question or comment on? Okay, can I please have a motion on the table that they be received, please? Thank you, Dave. I'll second that. All those in favour? Aye. Aye. Against? Carried? Right, the last one is an un, uh, I'd like to do a verbal or receive a verbal report from Joe. Um, Joe and Chrissy were at the Punakai community meeting yesterday. Um, I'd like to uh, table a, like a verbal report. Thanks, Joe. Yeah, uh, just follow on from the annual planning process and when we listen to the community and we roll over the seat for the community facility. Uh, we had a community meeting at, uh, down in Kaikai last night, which was very, very well attended, uh, and really positive received. They thanked um, Russell for turning up and giving them the information. And, uh, the result was that the um, established a formal committee, and uh, it was the unanimous decision that they wanted to proceed with uh, investigating out the community facility. Um, they were, they've got a a very capable committee and a very supportive community. So we look forward to working with them. Thank you. Anything else from staff from last week's meeting? Uh, no, just um, was um, impressed with the show of support from the community. Um, we said that we'll go out once a quarter just to touch base with the group and then we'll be able to report that into the um, new councillors just to keep them appraised of the uh, information. Um, and that there's a uh, terms of reference being locked up from them. Um, but it was a, a really well put together group. And yeah, thank you to everyone that turned up. Thank you very much. Councillor Rutherford. Yeah, look, I'm curious to know were there any um, candidates for the upcoming election in attendance? Other than. <laughs> the, uh, the local. Uh, he wasn't standing there as an incoming. Um, or a prospective candidate, though he was the nearest community member. It was at Andrew. Mm -hmm. Good. Well, he is a candidate. Yes, he is a candidate. Yes, yes, yes. But he wasn't at the meeting in that role. He was. He was there as a candidate. I'm sorry, I'm assuming that's what you were. You were no, saying no, saying no, I, no, 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 I wasn't. I was asking, what, did any attend just to. I mean, obviously, I would have thought that any prospective uh, Westport Ward councillor would take some interest in what's going there, but that's the same. But you are, you're indicating that it was. So thank you. That's all I was asking. Yeah, 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 Thank you very much for your attendance. Thank you for your uh, comments on all of the um, applications. I think we've been very fortunate um, to be able to give out some very good money to all of these groups here to, um, that have applied. 
um, I'd like to thank the staff. And uh, I think this is also our last SIC meeting for this um, uh, council period. Um, thank you all. And I'll declare the meeting closed at, and the glasses back on, 4.53. And it's incumbent upon us to thank you for your uh, chairing Planning. of these committees, which I've got to say are not, not easy. And um, and you've done it with, um, with dignity and with, with resolution. So thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, Lee and Kerr. Thank you. Don't love the most entertaining about it.